Okay, so uh, module two, which will be our first module that we'll look at on accounting, so accounting one. Uh, what are we going to be covering off here? Well, we'll look at the fundamental accounting principles, uh, the rules that the accountants uh, themselves live their lives by. Uh, secondly, we're going to be looking at uh, how financial transactions are actually recorded in the books of uh, transaction, what's referred to often as double entry bookkeeping, uh, which, despite what a lot of people think, is no great mystery. We'll then have a look at our two first two uh, financial statements, which is the income statement um, and then the balance sheet. And then we will have a look at a spe few specific accounting treatments contained within our two statements here uh, that we need to focus on as bankers. Uh, you'll notice that there's a third financial statement, which is the cash flow statement, which we will look at in module three. So let's just get um, clear about a couple of definitions, a uh, bit of terminology uh, that we, uh, we need to be aware of. First of all, exactly what is accountancy? Kay. Right, well, accountancy is just simply a method for recording financial transactions uh, into financial statements that, in terms of monetary terms, into that the economic resources under the company's management. Accountancy itself is actually not a science despite the fact that uh, many accountants will tell you how scientific it is. Accountancy was actually invented. It was invented by an Italian monk and mathematician known as Luca Pacciola. He was often referred to as the uh, father of accountancy. Now, what Pacciola came up with was a methodology for recording financial transactions that was logical and consistent. And this is where he came up with his double entry bookkeeping system, which simply says that every time we record a transaction, we will record it twice to show equal but opposite effects. And because of the fact that it's double entry with equal but opposite effects, we end up with a balance, and hence the balance sheet. Those transactions are in the name, are called debits and credit. So for every debit entry, there will also be a credit entry. So all the debit entries in the books of accounts, if they were added up, will equate to all the credit entries in the books of account. The balance sheet. The balance sheet is simply a snapshot of the business at a single point in time, sometimes referred to as the company's photograph. From our perspective as bankers, what we have to remember is that it is a single point in time scenario. The balance sheet will have been different the day before the balance sheet and it will be different the next day, which is the reason we talk about the balance sheet date. The balance sheet date is a single point in time. Now in contrast to the balance sheet, we have the income statement. Now, the income statement is not a point-in-time statement. It is a cumulative statement. So it reflects the income that the company has generated cumulatively over an accounting period. Now, typically, we talk about 12-month periods uh, when we talk about annual financial accounts. And the income statement will be the accumulation of that 12-month trading period. The third statement is the cash flow statement. And the cash flow statement is when we convert the items in the balance sheet and in the income statement over the period into a statement of cash inflows and cash outflows. So sort to of see how much cash the company has generated over the accounting period, the 12 month period, which would be the normal period we'll be looking at. Two other things that we need to think about. We sometimes talk about revenue items. Revenue items are items that are reflected in our income statement. 
and they contrast to capital items, which are items which will be reflected in the balance sheet. And we will look at the mechanics of that later on. One of the problems we often have with accountancy is, is what I call English and American. Um, the big movers and shakers in the world of accountancy are the Brits and the Yanks. Okay. Now, you would think that we would speak common language, but unfortunately we have an American version of accountancy and an English version of accountancy, and there are some slight nuances. As much as possible, I will use American expressions as we go through here, but I will also draw reference occasionally to their English equivalent, which you may occasionally come across uh, in day-to-day -day practice. I will resist about drawing conclusion about which one I think should prevail. So, let us start with the balance sheet equation. As I said, our friend Luca Pachola was a mathematician. Mathematician like equations, like simple algebra. And our simple algebraic equation says that things either side of the equal sign must always equal, which is the reason we have the double entry bookkeeping system. So, Luca Pachola, as a result of the double entry bookkeeping, comes up with this equation where assets at all times equal liabilities plus capital. And because it's an algebraic equation, clearly assets minus liabilities will equal capital. It works exactly the same way as our basic algebra does. Let's put the complete the A there. Okay, so what do we mean by assets, liabilities, and capital? Assets are the things the business owns, what the business has bought. Okay. Liabilities is what the business owes to outside parties. And capital is what the business owes to the owners of the business. So irrespective of whether we are dealing with a sole trader, a partnership, or a corporate, from an accounting perspective, we always distinguish the owners from the business. And the capital account is what the business, as a an trading entity, and sometimes a legal entity, owes to the owners of the business. Now, in terms of cash flow of how we have funded the business, if assets are what the business owns, that means we have spent money on them. So in terms of cash flow, They are a use of funds. This is important when we talk about this later on. Liabilities, then, are a contrast. They are a source of funds. What we have done is used the resources of outside parties to fund the purchase of assets. Capital is also a source of funding because we have used the capital that the owners have introduced into the business that will be used to fund the assets or to repay liabilities. But at all times, the golden rule, assets equals liabilities plus capital, following our balance sheet equation.